soon! What the hell is this? Dark CPUs? Four of them? This is... a dark CPU. They're way bigger than I thought. But how are we to save them? That's easy! It looks like they're not moving, so we can just destroy those things, Nep Nep, and the others are in! Just leave this to me. An anti-surface warhead should break them. You, you mustn't. If you do, Noir might end up getting hurt inside her capsule. I tried a lot of different things, but I think breaking them is the only solution. Any normal attack won't scratch them. This is a sacred place. Well, I'm sure Big Nepsy was the one to guide you all here. If I knew she would do this, I would have disposed of her sooner. You say some pretty disturbing things, you faker! But I don't give a damn about your shit-talking anymore! Hurry up and let him go! We'll have you explain the reasons you decided to manipulate us, too! I don't really care about those specifics. I'm just here to beat you up. Oh, you were all simply for entertainment. The world would have become more chaotic if you had fallen into delusion, after all. This was all just a game to you? That's the big reason you toyed with us? That's right. But the entire lot of you completely disappointed me. So, I'll be killing you all along with that annoying me over there. You're starting to become eyesores. Ha! You're gonna kill me? I don't know what you know about me, but I have share energy with me now. You're sorely mistaken if you think I'm the same as before, faker! That's right. You changed the world so you could receive share energy from monsters, didn't you? Then let's become one, me. We were originally one person. Why don't we return to being one? That way, both the share energy I obtained and the negative energy I hold will all be mine. Both the despair of the ignorant masses and their slight hope will become my strength. What the hell is she saying? Now, hurry and come to me. Together, let's exact revenge on the idiots of game industry who betrayed us. I told you, I don't understand anything you're saying. Like hell I take part in revenge that has nothing to do with me. I see. Your memories haven't completely come back yet, but that's understandable. I carry all your lost memories, after all. What? Is this true? Didn't I say it just now? We used to be one. If you have no memory of being betrayed and suffering, then I'll make you remember. Ah! Uzume's so lame! Kill her! Kill Uzume! Kill her before we're all destroyed! I was lying! She's not a CPU! She's a demon! And we had such high hopes because she was a new CPU. Are you okay, Uzume? Pull yourself together, Uzume. Wh what is this? My head... These are... my memories? You've received considerably more memories than you had. You'll probably need time for your mind and heart to understand it all. We have time. As a reward for making it this far, I'll tell something to you poor souls who only know the false history of your world. The history of the CPU who was betrayed by the masses and buried into darkness. CPUs are born from the share energy created from game industry's hopes and desires. In essence, they are goddesses created from people's wishes. But they betrayed me. Even though they created me, they saw me as an inconvenient, frightening, abhorrent existence. So, they plotted to annihilate me. And when they realized that it was impossible, they had me sealed away. And, of all things, they made me their tarnished history, making it as if I never existed, and started seeking a new CPU. That is why I vowed revenge on those selfish masses, and on game industry. And wouldn't you know, 
As if drawn by my hatred, instead of gathering shares, negative emotions became my energy. So, I used both those emotions and my powers of delusion to grant their wish, like a true CPU. I erased any memory and record of myself from game industry, changing history itself from its foundation. The ignorant people, who have now forgotten my existence, then created a new CPU, Uranus. And you are... Yes, I am Planetune CPU, Uzume Tanoboshi. <gasps> That's the truth. Do you understand now? Then kneel. You're too arrogant as my mere juniors. What? My body's heavy! No, this is the feeling of being pulled! Gravity? You as well, me. Trying to stand up to me when you're nothing but my dregs? Laughable. <laughs> and now, the big reveal. This world, Heart Dimension, is a place created in the heart of my sealed and sleeping self. Or rather, it's inside a dream I'm having. After all, the nightmare of me destroying game industry is the basis of Heart Dimension. The world you call Zero Dimension doesn't actually exist. That place is just outside of this one, like an entrance. That's why it's incredibly simple for me to manipulate what happens here. That's not possible! That's just nonsense! To make this a reality. This is my delusional power. It's the sole reason I was feared by all. The reason they tried to get rid of me. I've spent an interminable time living in this world. And one day, it just dawned on me. Even if I can't break my seal from the outside, if this world has become its own dimension, I could destroy its boundaries and go to hyperdimension. But that was when a single irregular event occurred. That was me. I don't fully know the cause. A part of my psyche, or my soul rather, suddenly separated from me and a piece of my existence was birthed. And then, of all things, I began trying to prevent dimensional destruction by the Dark CPU. Thanks to that, my plan of destroying this dimension and going to hyperdimension ended in failure. But there was a more important discovery. Whenever I received more share energy as power, I myself would power up. What? Then, what do you know? I started being able to see events in hyperdimension more clearly, and for a short time materialized there. Although, I had no physical form there. I couldn't touch anything, almost like a hologram. But it was more than enough. From there, I came up with a method of fusing the two dimensions to materialize in hyperdimension without breaking my seal. That's why, in order to gain more power, I prepared by sending R4 out, so that I could gather more strength. It was a so-called play I created of me, adventuring through Zero Dimension. I thank you for your discovery and help, Scrubs. Away! I can't believe the things we did to save Zero Dimension were actually giving you more strength! So, everything has been plotted out from the beginning. It was almost like raising cattle. I gave you feed, let you fertilize, I made a meal of you. And that became a part of me. <sighs> That's right. I have Gold Third to thank as well. Thanks to the Golden Summits becoming markers, I was able to guide this dimension's movement towards hyperdimension. Along with the shift period, when faith in CPUs lowers temporarily, spreading negative rumors lowered the need for CPUs entirely. So, game industry, which needs CPUs to survive, created the Golden Summits to give birth to new protectors as part of a survival instinct. The peculiar signal that the Golden Summits radiate is rare in multidimensional space, so it's traceable from other dimensions. So... That means Gold Third and Affimax were all dancing on the palm of your hand. 
Scum. You've remembered everything now, right, me? Let's exact revenge together. If the two dimensions fuse, the dark CPUs can materialize within hyperdimension. With me controlling negative energy, me controlling share energy, and the power of the CPU that Krar holds. If I possess these three powers, we could rule over game industry forever! We can eternally torture the world, those selfish masses. We'll transform the world to a whirlpool of delusion where strife never ends! I refuse! Who'd help a bastard like you after hearing that awful story? Me being me, or me being me? I don't care about that confusing crap! I came here to save Nepsi and the others. Nothing more, nothing less. If I'm really the previous CPU of Planetune, then I have to look after my juniors like a legitimate predecessor would. How disappointing. If I had my power, I could have dragged game industry further into a whirlpool of delusion. Then, I don't need me. Disappear. You wanna go? We've got you outnumbered. Outnumbered? Who really has the superior numbers here? Hmm. R4? A whole bunch of them even? I told you, didn't I? We're inside my own dream. I'm in full control of the creation you see all around. It's very simple to create puppets like these from my past memories. How do they look? Quite nostalgic, no? This one did give me a lot of trouble before, but now she makes for a very good pawn. It doesn't matter! We won't back down! But don't get too excited. The others have just fallen into delusion. It's a perfect time for them to enter. Yahoo! Neptune has revived! Jeez, there's something wrong with you to confine us like that for so long. Agreed. But I feel as though I've been born anew. I wonder why. I feel refreshed too. Neptune! I'm so glad you're safe! Ooh! It's Nepgear! I gotta kill her! What? What kind of twisted joke was that? Neptune, that was too harsh and sudden. Just look! Nepgear's completely shocked! Sorry, sorry. It's just been a while since I've seen Nepgear. I couldn't help getting excited and going off the rails a bit. It'd be a waste to kill her, huh? I need to torture her and make her suffer. What, what are you saying, Neptune? How should I hurt you, Uni? It's so difficult to hold back just enough to keep you alive. What's wrong with you too, Noir? Rom, Ram, let me hear your screams. I want the sounds of your agonizing shrieking resounding in my head. Lons, scary. Why? Why would you say something like that too, Blon? That's because I despise you, little brats. I despise you so much I can't contain it. What? Goodness, you all have it so nice getting to torture such cute sisters. Well, it cannot be helped. I will be contented with the leftovers. Aya, Kampa, and Gold Third. Who shall I choose to annihilate? Lady Bird, too? Nep Junior! Nep Junior! <laughs> Neptune, why are you doing this? Because. I detest you, of course. Even though you're younger, people praise you as the better sister. And you constantly order me around. Isn't it obvious? It hurts. <laughs> Please. 
please! Let go, Neptune! Oh, good. Good, Nepgear. That suffering face of yours is so very precious. I... can't... any... more. <laughs> I won't have you pass out. If you passed out, I wouldn't be able to see your face etched in such agony, or hear your terrified, pained screams. Stop! Seems like I can squeeze a little harder. Good. So very good, Nepgear. Younger siblings should be obedient to their older sisters. Do you better understand now your position as my younger sister? Good, good, good! You're shining so much right now. You're shining to satisfy me. Now, give me more. Let me see more of your suffering. You are my sister. You'll show it to your darling older sister, won't you? Are you okay, Nepgear? <coughs> yes. Somehow. And it was just getting good. At this rate, we can't possibly save little me or the others. Let's retreat for now. A prudent decision. Four brainwashed CPUs are bad enough. But with the dark CPUs in our force, it's too much. Damn it! We made it all the way here and everything? And all we can do is run? Blum, could you possibly give up either Rom or Ram to me? No. They've done as they pleased until now, using their youth as a shield. I won't give up either. I know. Since you've all already fallen, why not try falling to the depths of the Abyss? desperately ran away from heart dimension back to hyper dimension after that the fusion of dimensions accelerated game industry transformed into a ruined world it's as if it was fated to become zero dimension our sisters who had fallen into evil re-entered hyper dimension bringing the dark cpus and an armada of monsters with them please if i'm dreaming hurry and wake up <laughs> <laughs> 